Hey everybody, welcome to the stream and welcome to our first code party. My name is Mark Lassoff. Thanks so much for coming. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I want you to know that here in Connecticut where I live, we're experiencing a fairly massive storm. Um, so I don't know if the power is going to stay on. We're getting like 60 mile an hour winds and driving rain. Um, so I'm here in my office uh, in Fairfield, Connecticut, and I'm hoping for the best. So um, hopefully, hopefully uh, everything goes okay and we don't get cut off. Hey, if you're here um, on uh, YouTube with us, can you use the chat real quick and just let me know you're here. Let me know where you're watching the stream from. That would be a good place to start. So using the chat, just type your city and state or your country or what have you. This way I know where everybody's from. So a code party is just kind of uh, like a code workshop, but we're going to be doing it in kind of a light atmosphere. Um, you know, we want to have fun. We want you guys talking to each other and uh, to me. So we'd <laughs> love to have everyone participating as we go through. Um, I do this by myself, so I may see questions, I may not see questions. I'll do my best to answer them, but I'll give you a way to get in touch with me when the code party is over. So I see that uh, we're starting to come in with some locations. We've got uh, Richard from Houston, Victoria from New York City. I bet Victoria is also getting this uh, massive amount of rain. The other thing I want you guys to know is there's also a slight delay between when I say something live and when you guys see it. It's more than like the seven second delay from television. So um, I might look like I'm reacting to you guys late and it's because I am. Um, I'm not seeing, you know, what you guys are typing, etc. Uh, un until a few minutes or a few moments after you guys type it. We got Carl from Albany, Georgia checking in. So make sure, you know, as we go, you're talking to each other. I did promise that there would be prizes tonight. So the first prize is a $10 gift certificate to Amazon.com. And you enter that by simply typing your city, state, or, and or country into the text box. So where you see the text chat, if you'll participate in that, if you'll type into that, then... I will know you're here and you will be entered into that for the code party. And I'll tonight be going over during the code party some, I think, interesting JavaScript stuff. Um, it's kind of a beyond the basics JavaScript lesson. So, you know, I'm going to go over three different things that hopefully you'll find interesting. I'm going to be talking about first uh, using JavaScript to do API communication. And in that, I'm going to be talking about fetch. I'm going to be talking about Canvas and doing some JavaScript drawing with APIs. And uh, there was one more. And I can't remember what it was. We'll have to figure it out. So... Uh, we got Clinton Township checking in. So as we go here, like I said, pull up a seat to the bar and we're going to get going. So I'm going to show you my desktop. I'm going to be coding using my normal set of tools, which is going to be the brackets environment, along with uh, I'm going to be testing in Chrome. So... Let's see if I can get to, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. And hopefully you should be able to see my, yeah, there we go. That's not bad. You can kind of see my text editor here. Let's see if we can fit everything in the screen. Hey, not too bad. 
I have a different resolution monitor than you guys are seeing, so I want to make sure you guys can actually see what I'm doing. All right, so let's start off with an API. And you probably have seen APIs before. APIs are essentially automated, or excuse me, programming interfaces in which you can communicate with an outside system. So I'm just going to look up cool APIs that we could play with because there's a lot of different APIs out there that you can play with. And you can look at a list like this and you can find an API that you can use in order to get started. And tonight we're going to use the Yoda Translator API. The Yoda Translator API translates things from regular English to Yoda speak. And if you remember how Yoda speaks, Yoda speaks kind of like, very good, I think, you know, kind of like an old Jewish man or something. So <laughs> we're going to use the Yoda Translator API. And the first thing you're going to do when you look at any API is you're going to be looking at the API instructions. So I'm at the API instructions. There's information here about the API endpoints, some limitations, 60 calls a day, five calls an hour. Wow. So we can't try it too many times. And then it'll show us exactly how to use it. So the way we use this API is we send something to this particular URL with text we want it to transfer into Yoda speak. So let's say how are, well, we got to put the percentage 20s for spaces, you know, so I'm going to copy these like that because that's the symbol for space, and we'll say, how are you doing today? So this is going to be actually what I send to, this is going to be what I actually send to the uh, API. So let's go ahead and send this. And I'll just use the browser as a test. And if we look, it sends back, you are doing today, how are. So this is the translation from English to Yoda speak. So we're translating from English to Yoda speak right here. All right, pretty cool. So what we're going to do 